Tim Wincest, trial one. at a sustained wind speed of 125 miles per hour. Test two is gonna be a sustained wind speed of 150 miles per hour. like Tim will be successful up to 150 miles per hour as of now. So what's going to happen is this cell phone right here is going to be zip tied to the bottom of this brake rotor and uh, to hold it in place real tight. And then the, uh, the module that records everything is going to be also zip tied up in here real tight. And then of course we got our GoPro on top so we can record inside a tornado. Um, up to an EF3 as far as we know right now and um, record dew point humidity pressure and temperature within the tornado as well as um, recording and it is on a swivel so that's good because then we can record from multiple angles of the tornado um, just directed by wind so uh, that should be pretty sweet I said before the cell phone is going to be the bottom um, this is going to be our recording module to record all of our information, all of our data that we're getting off the um, the uh, measuring module. And uh, it's gonna be zip tied from these holes and from these holes, like, there we go. That way it's nice and snug. This is test number three on the Tornado Probe, AKA Tim Tornado Intercept Module. And uh, this is going to be tested at 150 miles per hour. It has the, uh, the GoPro mount and the, um, the cell phone inside of it. three tornado sustained winds and she made it through That's good. That's good. now we're going to test what's called an updraft at 150 miles per hour which is i think a lot more than we need i think the hot a uh, normal updraft inside a tornado is about uh 67 miles per hour so it's basically suck so we're going to test the suck Completely still in a 150 mile per hour updraft. That's saying the cell phone's not even moving in here. She's out to the probe by zip ties, remember? This little purple and white dot, or pink, I might be colorblind, is what's going to be either zip, which is good, which is alright because the battery doesn't run out for a while. This is what will record our dew point humidity, barometric pressure, and temperature inside a tornado. Um, later on, we might put an anemometer on here, but similar probes to this have not had anemometers to measure wind speed and gusts and stuff like that. But um, later on, we probably will. Um, maybe in with Tim 2.0, uh, we might do that. This is kind of in a beta phase. Um, 
if we find it, if we start launching into tornadoes and figuring out, hey, there's a better way to do this, we can fix it. Because what we're doing this for is to save lives and increase early warning times to uh, keep people safe. Like I said, as of right now, it does not have an anemometer. However, um, we will have a roof mount anemometer that can measure up to 125 miles per hour as long as a two handheld ones, one that can measure up to 125 miles per hour, as well as other atmospheric measurements and parameters. And um, can also, and then we have one that goes up to 68 miles per hour that's handheld. So um, we're pretty set when it comes to that kind of stuff. Um, the one that records multiple parameters is Bluetooth to your phones and you can save all that history. Um, it doesn't show up on a graph like this does, and it, it does update every second, but like I said, it doesn't show up on a graph. This one updates once every second um, and can uh, be plotted. It will instantly be plotted on a graph, which you can download, save to an Excel file, whatever you want. So now it's time to test it against precipitation. And since it's a clear day right now, we're, uh, we're going to use the hose. tip it over it looks all good I'm gonna run it until it starts leaking in there just so we have an idea that's, that's all right so ran about for a few more seconds a little dry oh there's a little something right there nothing I'm too worried about